Welcome to Cape Town, South Africa. This is Clifton in the background and it might be a little bit windy on the mic. Apologies for that one. But I couldn't resist sitting out here in this beautiful environment for the intro on technical underlays that you're going to want to watch. The reason being, technical underlays can allow you to install a solid or an engineered wooden floor in not so desirable or suitable environments where maybe your substrate isn't strong enough for a glue down, maybe you don't have the height in order to do a batten system, or maybe you get too much moisture in the environment and your timber is moving too much. Well, Elastalon underlay system, which is a technical underlay, will allow you to install your floor and keep the planks totally independent that will allow them to be able to expand and contract and respond to the environment without blowing the floor. This is a system that you should consider. because they're rich and famous and they don't want their bedroom shown to the rest of the world. And today we're using a product that is called Elastalon. It's a technical underlay that is used in situations where you can't always do a glue or a nail down, where you are maybe a little bit worried that there is like a lot of coastal relative humidity or moisture in the air coming in and impacting your floor, especially when you can't exactly climate control your environment. Here we have an apartment, it's got floor to seat ceiling, sliding doors, they all get opened up and the climate is allowed into the space and you can't control that. We have lovely environments here but in winter it gets wet, you know, uh, in summer it dries out, you've got a whole lot of movement and maybe you can't bond to the substrate. So what do you do? Well there is a system called Elastalon and this system is what we're going to be using here today and basically you can take a solid wooden floor tongue and groove or you can take an engineered wood floor and basically just peel and stick it onto this underlay there is a technical format for that and we're going to show you all of that and basically this floor will allow each of the planks to remain independent but they'll be able to shift and move and expand and contract and the elastlon will hold it all together giving you a beautiful floor that is not going to pop this is not a silver bullet for all horrible sites. It is a product that will work for a lot more sites where potentially you would be able to use other systems. Also, it's very easy. Anybody could do it. Generally, it's left for professional installers. But hey, if you're clever like me, you could install uh, your own DIY floor and it won't be a problem. But let's get into how it's done and let's get into a little bit more of the technical detail. Oh, and enjoy the view. Moisture barriers have to be installed. We're busy in installing our sheet of polyethylene or DPM. That has to go underneath the underlay for sure. This, the Elastlon is not a moisture barrier. It just holds the product together nicely when it's exposed to variable climatic conditions. Always remember, make sure you do your moisture barrier with any floor. So here in the background, we're busy setting up our perpendicular lengths of Elastalon, perpendicular to the direction of the floor that we intend to install. This is to allow multiple underlay contact points with any particular plank, which just holds and binds the whole structure together. Really, make sure you read the instruction manual. There is a methodology, but it is really simple once you get your head around it. So here you can see it's a gentle process of getting your boards into position and then gently pulling back that release paper which will then lock those boards in place. It's quite a gentle process 
uh, no forcing of any planks and then once you have got your planks in place then a little bit of a rolling rolling foot traffic is actually really going to just bed it down into that adhesive uh, technical underlay and your floor is going to stay in place if those planks want to move due to the climatic conditions above the floor then they are going to be able to slip and slide and move around but obviously the last one will then bring them back due to the elastic nature of it and those fiberglass scrims it'll actually hold it in place and if it does stretch it'll spring back to place come and make it right found this product interesting and you want to know more Stephen Sumtups one of the key champions of this product is busy traveling North America through North America and he's looking for a distributor and clientele hit him up his details are below if you want to know any more technical information don't ask me ask him because he is the guru this is a fantastic system and for the discerning distributor retailer installer or DIY enthusiast this is the product for you. Save your floors, install them correctly, use the right products. Hit the bell button, subscribe, hit us in the comments, like, do all that kind of stuff, and uh, thank you for watching.